Hello and welcome to Home Assistant Tips by Larry. Before we get started, we are going to assume you already have a working instance of Home Assistant and you already have ESP Home installed and working and you know how to flash a microcontroller with ESP Home. This is the hardware you're going to need to be able to do this project. Uh, one on the left is the Seed Studio microcontroller. The one in the middle is the motor controller. The one on the other side of that is a butt converter. Then you need the Glade air freshener itself. And finally, you need a USB cable pigtail. A parts list with links to all of these parts will be on my GitHub page. And the GitHub link will be in the video description of this video. The first step to disassembling the Glade air freshener is to open it up and remove the front of the air freshener. You can do that using a straight edge screwdriver. Wedge the screwdriver in between the two hinged parts and twist a little bit to get it dislodged. And then the front part should just come right off like you see in the video. The next thing we need to do is to remove the two batteries that you see in the Glade air freshener to get to the four screws that we'll need to remove. So remove those batteries. The four screws we need to remove here have a unique type of head on them uh, to prevent people from getting inside of this. So I will leave a link in the video description for this bit. Go ahead and use this bit to remove the four screws that you're seeing me do here. Next, you'll need to loosen the top so that you can remove the unit that we need to work on. Here, we need to separate these two pieces. Use something small and fairly sharp to push the two pins that you see in the video up so that we can separate the two halves and pull them apart. Next, we need to remove the original printed circuit board that's in the Glade air freshener. So we'll pull on the clips that are holding the circuit board in place, and then you will be able to lift the circuit board out like you see in the video here. Next, we need to cut the wires that are going from the motor to the circuit board. So get a pair of wire cutters and cut the wire closest to the circuit board like you see in the video here. We are going to replace this board with a H-Bridge motor controller board, which is going to make the modification a whole lot easier to do. Next, we're going to reassemble the two pieces. Just line them up like they were before and push them together and the clips will keep it together so they won't come apart again. Here, we're going to make room for the parts that we're going to need to install. So we're going to take a pair of large wire cutters and snip off all the plastic pieces that we don't need to make room for those. You can see me doing that here. Here, you can see how all three parts are laid out on the surface we just made for them. What you'll need to do is to wire them up. The wiring diagram is on my GitHub page, and the link for my GitHub page is in the video description of this video. Once you've wired all the boards together, you will also need to hot glue them in place. Once you've got all the components hot glued in place, we will need to test it before we put it inside the blade air freshener body. So connect the USB cable up to the two wires that you've soldered together. Now plug the USB cable into a power source so that the microcontroller will power up. And you should see it come up in Home Assistant when you do that, like it did here.
Now what we're going to do is to press the spray button that says press to see if it works. It should cycle through like it's going to press the nozzle of a spray can. So here I am going to press the button now. And as you can see, it actually did work. Next, we need to drill a hole for the power cable in the base of the unit. So drill a quarter inch hole where you see me uh, drilling now. Make sure that the hole goes all the way through the uh, back side of the air freshener. Next, we need to drill another hole about one eighth inch in size, approximately where you see me drilling now. Make sure that it goes all the way through to the bottom of the unit. Next, we need to get the USB pigtail cable that you see in the video here and measure from the top of the unit down to the bottom and then give it another inch or so after that and then use a pair of strippers and break the insulation so that you can remove the covering of the cable here. Next, we need to run the cable that we just stripped through the back hole that we made into the bottom hole of the plate that we also made and run it into there and then pull it all the way through until the uh, cable reaches where the insulation was removed and then push it into the hole as far as it will go so that the insulate so that the bare wires is no longer showing next get a large pair of wire cutters and what we're going to do is cut slots in the plastic ribs so that the wires can go through the slots as you can see me doing here next i use some white electrical tape to cover the wires just makes it look better you don't have to do this step but it does make it look a lot better inside and lastly i cut the wires off and then strip them to get them ready to connect to the other wires that we will connect it to to the main unit and here i connect the wires to each other by twisting them together and then soldering them. This will allow for a good connection. And then after I solder them together, I will use heat shrink to protect the connections. Now that we're done, we can reassemble the unit. Make sure all of the wires and the antenna are um, not being crimped by the unit and then reinsert the screws and screw them down don't screw them down too awful tight or you might cause the gears to bind inside the unit to screw them down snug as you see here now remove the backing off of the antenna coming from the microcontroller and paste it uh, on the back side of the glade air freshener body as you can see in the video. And finally, let's go ahead and reattach the front part of the blade air freshener by using our screwdriver again and reinserting the hinges together so that it can open and close. And now let's go ahead and put in a can of the air freshener and close it up so that we can test it out. Go ahead and pull up Home Assistant. And you should be able to hit press the button, spray button, and it should spray. I use this to freshen the air in my bathroom. I can sit on my toilet and it will automatically spray. And then when I get off of the toilet, it will spray again. In my bedroom, I use it to spray when I enter the bedroom. And if it hasn't sprayed in the last two and a half hours, it does that automatically as well. 
If you guys want to see how I did this with automations, go ahead and leave a, a comment in the uh, video. And if I get enough responses, I will bank a part two on this and show you all the automations that I set up for this. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, again, leave comments down below. And I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for watching. The code to get the sensors working in ESP Home will be linked in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to make these videos. And as always, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section. See you next time.